Good morning. I'm going to read to you today out of 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through 27. It says, Don't you realize that in a race everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize? So, run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to myself, to others, I myself might be disqualified. You know, back in 2018, um, I did my first triathlon. In January of that year, I had reached my heaviest weight ever. And I decided to do something about it. I started eating better and exercising, but I needed a goal to shoot for. I'd always wanted to try a triathlon, but I wasn't sure I could do it. And so I started training, and it also helped that I talked my friend Josh and my son-in-law Kyle into doing it with me, so it gave me a little extra motivation. Now, I knew without any doubt that I couldn't compete against, well, pretty much anyone else, others were going to beat me and beat me bad. There were, looking at times, there were women in their 60s who could do the whole thing faster than I could do it in my 50s. Um, but this wasn't a beat about beating anyone else. It really wasn't. It never was that. The only person I was competing against was me. I was training to conquer my weight problem. I was training for my health, training to conquer my fear and my self-doubt. The prize wasn't a trophy. It was the satisfaction of finishing. In all of this, you know, it never really occurred to me to make my own rules to set up my own course. The course was predetermined. I just had to run it. Now on race day, they had certain rules that had to be followed. Some people chose to ignore those rules and were disqualified. Others couldn't finish the course and they were disqualified. But we, Josh, Kyle and I, we all finished. So we won. You know, in my spiritual life, I know that I am not the best preacher in the world. I'm not the best administrator. I cannot compete as the most popular loved pastor. I will never be considered the greatest teacher of the Bible. But God has taught me that I'm not really competing against anyone else for those distinctions. The only competition is with myself. I'm competing against my apathy and my laziness, my incompetence and my sinfulness. I'm competing to be the best me that I can be. Now, I want to follow the course laid out before me. It's already determined. I want to finish this race. Now, this is why I read my one-year Bible every day. I'm in training. I'm training so that I'll be able to finish. 
And as long as I finish, I win. Pray with me. Lord, remind us that you have already laid out the plans. You know the plans that you have for us. Plans to prosper us. You just want us to run, to train, to prepare, to run this race that you have called us to be a part of. We all run in the race. Some have been disqualified. Some have chosen to give up and not compete. But Lord, I want to finish. So help me to train, help me to prepare, help me to do what I need to do to be able to defeat my laziness, my self-doubt, my sinfulness. And help me to finish this race that you have laid in front of me, knowing that there is laid up for me a crown, a crown of glory, and for all who have loved his appearing. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, friends, I hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you again tomorrow.